players will be down to the bottom of the elevator after we're done. Go ahead, Coach. Well, I have as much respect for for Steve as I do anybody in college basketball and the job he does. And uh, this venue um, is is obviously one of the best in America. Um, we didn't win this game today. We won it with our preparation um, early in the week. Uh, we had a, a long time off uh, since our last game. Uh, gave us an opportunity to get Coleman back uh, and in practice. Uh, but uh, we had a great week of prep. Um, I was uh, very focused on the rebounding side of things. I was very focused on our offensive execution. Uh, we added a few things. Um, and, and then, you know, our saying, defense travels, toughness travels. Um, to do that, uh, we knew they would make a run, uh, but to hold the team to 30, 33%, whatever it was, um, when we're on the road is, is, is something I'm, I'm, I feel really, really good about. And then to just dominate the glass, double them up on the glass is, is very unique. So uh, all in all, it was, I thought that Coleman was great uh, defensively. Um, I thought he did a great job on Cliff. Um, and then offensively, he just spaces the floor. I thought uh, Marcus DeMoss, uh, his floor game, his ability to, to, to score in post-ups, uh, was was he lead and then obviously Terrence showed why Terrence is one of the best players in the country so um, you know all in all a, a, a great road win these are like gold in this league and I'm excited uh, uh, to get the first one out of the way and uh, uh, you know we've got 19 more is this another level of Terrence and maybe how much did last year being a number one guy help him now step up maybe another, especially in terms of the consistency? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for Terrence was comfort. It, there was so much unknown last year. He was a new player in our program, uh, just trying to be a piece of it. Um, we were young. We're obviously not young. We're older. Um, and... Um, just the comfort of, of, of knowing that. I mean, he was obviously a first team all league guy last year. And, and, uh, but I think he didn't rest on his laurels. He, he, he took advantage of his experience going through the draft. He got better, he worked. Um, that's, that's showing in his game. And, um, you know, I've said this, I think he's the best two way player in the country. Defensively, he's elite. And uh, tonight we get 10 rebounds out of him. Uh, Terrence can do that every night, and you know that's that's what good players do is they find ways to stuff a stat sheet and help their team win, and, and he's doing it all. Brad, when you're going against a team with this kind of defensive pressure, it, you know you're going to turn it over some. How do you get through those th those situations, those runs? Yeah, I mean we're a really good passing team, so I you know I didn't feel like you you, you ever had to really handle it. You know, we just kind of pass it. And, um, I thought what we did on the backside of it was more important than what we did on the attacking it. Um, I thought we took our opportunities when we were there, but uh, you know, we just we just we had one or two things we got into. We didn't simplify. I mean, we just simplified, dumbed down everything, and um, tried not to compl complicate it. I think where teams get in trouble is they try to run a set. Or something at the end of their press, and all of a sudden you got 10 seconds on the shot clock, and and it's taking you 12 to get the pieces in place. Um, and uh, you know we can pass, we can you know we made shots tonight, and, and we can drive it. So, uh, thought we did a good job against them. Matt, how concerned were you about the long layoff? I wasn't. I was. We needed it. We needed it, um, and it was it was great timing from the standpoint that we we had to get Coleman back. Uh, Coleman had set out over two weeks, missed three games, trying to clear up, uh, you know, pretty severe tendonitis, quad tendon, uh, quad tendonitis issue that was down in his knee, and uh, he'd been limping around. Uh, our training staff, our, our trainer, Paul Schmidt, our our strength coach, lived with him, um, and. Uh, you know, we got him back and, and in a good place. So I wasn't worried about it. I was I was actually pretty excited about 
back when we needed it. Brad, given the, uh, the, the way Rutgers plays, how shocking is it to you that you went uh, 55 to 27 on the boards and you had more offensive rebounds than they had defensive rebounds? That's unique. Um, you know, I thought that it was an area that, that we've always been good at. I've been really upset with my team uh, because of our lack of, of offensive rebounding. We've been a top team, that, you know, a top team in our league, a top team in the country in terms of offensive rebounding over the years. And um, you know, to, to win games on the road, you have to offensive rebound. You got to find some easy baskets, and uh, we weren't finding enough easy baskets. Um, I thought Quincy Gurrier, I thought uh, uh, Justin Harmon, I thought uh, early we were. Really, really, Ty Rogers. I thought we were really effective on the glass, and we were doing it from all five spots. So um, it was a point of emphasis. I'm glad it sunk in because um, we needed all of that today to win. What carryover did you maybe see offensively from what you did in practice this week to today? Yeah, a lot. I, you know, I thought it was um, we really tried to emphasize. You know, we've been trying to emphasize driving the ball. You know, I go back to our Kansas exhibition. We shot 26 free throws in one half, and and you know, we just got passive. Um, I thought we made really good decisions tonight in terms of when to attack and transition and when not. I think that's that's uh, we had one or two segments in the first half, one or two possessions where we got a little little out of sorts. But um, you know, on the road, you got to be selective. Um, I thought we did a good job of that, and, and we drove the ball. And, you know, Terrence was impressive the first half getting downhill. Marcus was was living in the paint, as was Ty. Talk about how different or how difficult it is to win on the road in the Big Ten and how difficult this place is. What was it about the start tonight that brought that energy and, you know, got the guys going out to the good start? Well, one, it's a league game. It's, it's you know, there's a different – it's hard to explain until you're in the locker room and you're in practice. It's a different aura about a league game. And you know that every facility is going to be packed. You know every team's going to be prepared. They know us better than, than anybody else we've played to this point. And, um, but it is very hard. And Steve's one of the elite coaches in the country. That's a very good basketball team. They're, they've got the record for a reason. Uh, they're going to win a ton of games. Uh, Cliff was one of the best defenders and, and best athletes in college basketball, and, and so it, it's 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 like it's like gold. You dread it when you have to go on the road, but it's 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 like you know stocking stocking gold, taking a piece of gold out of Fort Knox and stocking it in your locker room. It's it's so hard to do in this league, and. and uh, uh, you got to be extra tough, and like we said, that's what we try to build our program on is toughness and, and defense, and uh, tonight we were able to, to do both of those. You had said you weren't concerned about Marcus having a couple of off games. Was there anything you saw in the lead-up that you knew he was going to be this good tonight? Well, I knew in the recruiting process he always played pretty good in big games. Um, this game was... was um, uh, he was great in Marquette. Um, you know, he was, he was he was really solid. I think he's starting to find more comfort in everything that we're doing. Um, I think he's, he's um, you know, if Marcus does anything, he works too hard. He lives in the gym, but you get rewarded for that, and, and he's starting to see that. And uh, again, you know, tonight was a night we put the ball in his hands a lot. Uh, we love the matchup, and, and uh, we know how good a post player he is. When, two you, you talked about, you just mentioned matchups. Do you, when you go into this, do you look at like, you know, sometimes you have a almost like a point guard by committee, a different guys running it, whether it, it's matchups, do matchups play a huge role in who you use Absolutely. there? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's the world today. Um, you know, I think that you uh, um, put good basketball players out there. Um, you know, we, we, we're getting better at making our reads. We're getting better at handling certain things. We, you know, we've got, um, you know, we've got multiple guys who can do it. You know, Justin can make can make really good decisions. Uh, so, I, you know, I, I don't uh, I let you guys get all consumed with that. And, and I, I worry about who the opponent is and how they how they approach it. So, uh, Noel Fernandez is as good on ball defenders as is in, in the country. I mean that 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 dude's a pest, and uh, you know it's it's a uh, we, we we did a pretty solid job against him. Great stuff. 
What difference did having Coleman mean for me, what you were able to do? Yeah, Coleman's a unique guy. I mean, he's 6'10". Um, you know, I didn't truly expect him to have a great shooting night. It's hard when you've been out a couple weeks. Uh, but, you know, he just stretches the floor. He can handle it. Uh, he's intelligent. He's a good, very good screener. Um, you know, and, and, you know, he is capable of making five threes, so you better go guard him. And, uh, you know, we did a lot of spacing tonight with him uh, when Cliff was on him. And, uh, you know, it took Cliff out of the paint. It opened the paint up a little bit. And uh, Coleman gives you that luxury where, where, you know, with some of our other guys, we don't have that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, bro.